A basic biblical truth is that God created everything for his glory. He created the heavens and the earth and everything in them. If we think about God's creation of the earth, he created the mountains, the hills, the valleys, the seas, plants, all the animals. If we think about the heavens, he created the angelic realm. Returning to the earthly realm, he also created human beings. And he made us to be embodied creatures. He did create the angels. They're of a spiritual nature. They are disembodied. They're immaterial spirits. But then when God created human beings, he created us as embodied beings, as beings that are composed of both a spirit, an immaterial aspect, as well as a body, a physical aspect. And he created us to be his image bearers. So when God created the heavens and the earth, he deliberated and said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And so God chose to create a being more like him than any other creatures that he had created. And he created human beings to be his image bearers. And he created us as embodied beings. And to us, he gave the mandate to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth, to subdue the earth and to exercise dominion. Those tasks, that, that, that task of procreation, that task of vocation, both require physicality, embodiment. And so God has designed human beings to be embodied creatures.